How's it going everyone? It's David here and I am here continuing the NAFA event at Lake Compounds which is celebrating 175 years old this year. In fact this is the oldest operating amusement park in all of the United States. I was here once about eight years ago but I'm really excited to get back here. I'm especially excited to get back on Boulder Dash, from what I remember, was one of my favorite wood coasters, and hopefully it lives up to my memory. Also, there are some uh, other new rides that they've added over the years, uh, a lot of expansion, and it's really great to be back. So let's go in and try to have some fun. Coming from Idlewild, what's your first impressions? Well, hopefully Idlewild will get a facelift like this soon because this is just gorgeous. Just extremely beautiful. This is a palace park? <laughs> yes, it is. So we just got off of the Wildcat, now running with Millennium Flyer trains. My leg, I mean my back, my, my everything. What happened? <laughs> like, that was really rough. It was really uncomfortable. I mean, it's, it's a historic ride. I'm glad it's still around, but I don't really like it in the uh, condition that it is currently.
just got off of Boulder Dash after a long hiatus and that was just my first ride of the day and it was in the morning just just slightly disappointed by it I don't think it's quite warmed up uh, I don't I remember getting more air time on it and uh, the pacing being a little bit more punchier uh, I was on one of the first trains of the day so I think it's going to warm up and we do have evening ERT later so uh, I will uh, further judge it from then. But it's still a really good ride. I still think it's the best CCI uh, built. I love the layout, I love the location. It still does have good pacing to it, but uh, I do think I need to get more rides in to really see where it goes in my rankings. Because before, it was like in my top five. Just after that one ride, I don't think it's there anymore. But uh, we will see later.
All right, just got off of Ghost Hunt, and that is uh, almost just like uh, the Boo Blasters at the Cedar Fair Parks, although I thought it was uh, much more well-preserved. Uh, you can see where you were shooting, and uh, it was actually uh, pretty decent. Well, they made me take my hat off to ride, which I thought was really, really weird for that type of ride, but hey, well, it is what it is, and it sounds like Ghost with the cars, it sounds like the Ghost with cars, which is like... Weird riding ship policy with two adults in the back and you can only have one in the front. I don't know, not my park, not my problem, but just a very different change of operations up here. What's that? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it looks like a beach over here. Yeah, I think you used to be able to swim, so I, I get it probably from a liability standpoint. They don't yeah, let people do that anymore? I don't think so. It's it, it's awkward because a few years ago, so many years ago, I don't know, five, ten years ago, they bought all that prop, like they pushed that road. <laughs>
just like Kenny would. And it's just as, if not more popular than the one at Kenny would. So at the potato patch, I did not get patch fries, but I got what's called the monster potato. It's a big potato with a sour cream, butter, cheese, chili, bacon, and chives. I like that you got both. And then my friend got yes. the traditional potato patch fries with cheese and bacon. And it's time to test and compare. I think they're excellent. They are thinner fries though, but the temperature's right. I think they're excellent actually. Would you agree? What do you think? Perfect. My baked potato is uh, excellent as well. The chili really makes it. Yeah, I did a custom baked potato. Uh, it's not up there, you can do a custom, but it's available. I have a custom cheese, bacon, and chives potato. Okay. So, Enjoy. Thank you. Yeah, I was actually really excited to ride. Yeah. Yeah, hey, look. Guys, 
just a log jammer boat. We're about to ride a log jammer boat. This is awesome. Oh yeah, here it, here it comes. Here comes the log jammer log. Alright, we just got off of Sawmill Punch. I mean, the log, log jammer. jammer. We rode on a log jammer boat. We rode on a log jammer boat. We rode on a log jammer boat. Boy, that brought back so many nostalgic memories. And it was a Kennywood boat. It still had uh, the Number text on the back six. with the Number six. six. The only thing missing was the Kennywood logo. It looks like they didn't really refurbish it all too much. It felt no. just like riding the log jammer. With Again, twist, turn, splashes, and I don't know how deep this drop is, but it's probably greater than 53 foot. Yes. Uh, actually, on its own, it was a really nice log flume. Going up there, you were going around the boulders and the trees. You go over a cliff at one point. It really I'm, rocked. It was, <laughs> I mean, it was a short flume, but it's honestly one of my favorites. It was really good and it had a very wet uh, drop. So we're enjoying our time here at Lake Compounds. The night is winding down, and as day turns to night, we are going to end with Boulder Nash Nighttime ERT. So uh, hopefully that's as good as it sounds.
All right. Gene Times. I take back what I said earlier, how I was a little underwhelmed by that ride first thing in the morning. We just got done with nighttime ERT on Boulder Dash. 13 laps without getting out of our seats. Except to move around. Well, yeah, we moved around, but like we rode every single cycle that was being offered. Yep. And that is, yep, that's absolutely spectacular. Uh, well, I'm weak in the knees. I was gripping onto the handbars with my life. I may have lost a few brain cells. I think I might have a concussion. And uh, I had a good time doing it. So I'm getting ready for one hour and 45 minutes of that tomorrow. Hopefully that coaster is smoother. Yep, we're but going overall, to Quasi tomorrow. I, I survived. Yep. Yep. And this guy back here, Vance, did the back seat on all laps. Yep. How was that? Good time. Good time. <laughs> so yep, absolutely great night. We are almost done with the trip. We are ending at Quasi tomorrow. And uh, thank you, Lake Compounds, for offering this truly amazing nighttime ERT. It was unforgettable. This is going to go right back up in my rankings based on those rides. Absolutely fantastic. And I really had a good time here at Lake Compounds. It's a nice small park. It's uh, very clean and a good variety of attractions. Really, really like it here. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it and subscribe for more content. And with that being said, thank you all for riding, and I'll see you next time.